Hi, right, what's going on? This is Dreads the Beat, Nick, representing Four Kings Entertainment, and we're here in an undisclosed location in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia, for the Jump Off TV 2007 World Rap Championships. It's week five of the regular season, and we got two teams about to go ahead and just crush, kill, and destroy some rhymes for you. We got Reed Richards and KP. Bird. Versus Parable and Mad Ills. Still. Three rounds, one winner, one minute on the clock. Let's get it cracking. Go. All right, I'm nicer up in here. Hey dog, I think you need to learn how to hear. Get the fuck out of here. Pull out your ears, ride the wind, dumb flow. I run flows, drop this. He's on my dick so hard, need an orthodontist to get him off this. Try that, look at your head wrap. Make me want to crip walk on a gym mat rocking an eye patch. Try that. You ain't nothing. Yo, you so hip hop, you make hip hop disgusting. Fuck him. Yo, but he ain't, you can't wreck with me. Cause he ain't got the wreck, right, proper weaponry. I change the trajectory. Yo, you ain't out besting me. I kick you in your ass and give your ass a hysterectomy cause you's a bitch. Yo, you got hamburgers on the back of your neck. I take the acne off his face and give him shit some sesame. Yeah, right up on the back. That's what I do with your bitch. Open your legs, sesame. Think Look over there. I'm twice as fly as that. Hey dog, I got a mortal technique on the line. He wants his style back. Wild cat, get a bitch slapped till you get that. Better doing. Yeah, he's really concerned about impoverished water rights and revolution. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a terrorist chin and embarrass him. This man looks like Robin Tight from Men in Tights, but except he likes to marry men. You act weird as fuck. Must have been from childhood, something your parents did. Fucking idiot or the guitarist from Aerosmith cut his hair again and got hooked on heroin. Hey, yo. And you, it's obvious the extra cartilage on your bottom lip makes it look like a sausage dipped in chocolate. And you, you must be scaring the young kids. It's terrible. What's this? Jack Skellington and the Nightmare Before Crunk Miss? Well, ain't this a dumb team? You ain't gonna bust me. Fuck the gay jokes, but you do like to put your face in the butt cheeks. And I'll just okay your face if you touch me. Look, Amy the monkey came with David Duchovny. Hey, yo, you say you're sick, skinny like a cancer patient is. When God made this bitch, he put together a bunch of paper clips. You got the rap style of an alien, you crazy bitch. And you're stupid if you disregard evolution. Cause here's a human with the face of a baby chimp. And you know you lose. Matter of fact, the winners, they know they'll choose. Shut the fuck up and give me back my lawn mowing shoes. <laughs> Round two. Woo! Let's get it oh. cracked. Oh, you think you faggots is straight live? Little faggot hip hop internet survivors circle jerking to J5. I'm past doom. Yeah, you're the toughest thug in the chat room. Every time I spit it, nice with it, didn't flip it. I wreck words. Dog, independent hip hop's dead. They stopped making records. I serve herbs. You got nerves stepping to me conceptually. It's okay. I don't play. You didn't get me. I came through, bitch slap you on my way through Florida. I caught some crippies from a couple of hippies. Yo, but I'm ill with the flows. Look like his cheekbones ain't caught up with his chin, his ears, and his nose. I can't really tell what's going on thinking that you got it, but really it's not fair. You look like you're 32. Look, you got gray hairs. Yes, you're a little brillo. Yo, that's how I do. You're soft as a pillow. Eat your ass up like some mozzarella. A mozzarella. Chop the fellow. It's kind of like cheesy. This dude is soft and yellow. Your freak's kind of busy. She don't beat. Every time I spit shit, you, I got more rhymes than times you've uh, repetitively watched Beat Street. Stutter, uh -oh. fuck it, you stupid fucker. Couldn't get with me, my shit's a little more butter. I turn it, work it. Medical attention's needed urgent for this Kill bitch. Hey yo, hey yo, you're slow and gets no action. Can't understand shit with your damn list. Come on, I need closed caption. When this hoe's rapping, the screen should read, I'm a broke faggot, Bo Jackson, with a stretched out Bilbo baggage on a real coke habit. Oh, wow. And don't you patronize my patterns, cause I'm better than your fatter friend. One punch to this cat's chin, and I could cave even your bladder in. I'm better, whether under the weather, freestyle, pat a pin. And either a fucking hamster ate a laundry hamper, or this is Anthony Anderson. Hey yo, 
You poser, think the skeletal clones doper? We call are those cheekbones or did your face grow shoulders? You can rock the mic, I throw boulders. You came to walk him right, come on Rover, roll over. And you're not into us when all rhymes, I'm fucking up all your soft minds. Either a fucking Snuffleupagus went online or it's honey, I shrunk the Sean Price. And I'd love to diss you, but I've had enough of this crew. This is what the human body would look like without any muscle tissue. Oh. Woo! Hey, hold up because you know that I got the- Time, round three. Three. Don't you wish you might have my metabolism? That way you wouldn't have to use your left hand to induce jism. I nice start spitting. I grab kids, continue to do my ad libs. I stab kids. Shit is over. Look, Zach De La Rocha started to rhyme. Probably the time. It's nice with this. Speechless. Fucking turn your girl over, hit her bare back, and tell her I'm Anthony Kiedis. Don't believe this. Switch this to pitch switch. You little bitch. Try this. My. You wanna find no Ryan Fress man breast? I'm a plus. <laughs> I'm a plus there or minus. Your ass to get side kicked and your fucking sidekick. And if you had a sidekick, his ass to get his eyes ripped right up out his eye sockets. Yeah, you can't rock this. I'm on any fucking topic. Yes, you's a goof troop. And yo, he said the line once, and it seemed like everybody started saying blues clues. So what the fuck is going on with this dude? I rip you, mince me. Yo, you're yeah, not you're worthy, squeak. dog. I'm really a fan of you. I grew up jerking off to your porn. Was your name Ron Jeremy? Jeremy? You fucking Herbie, you run fast. Yo, fucking Herbie the Bucket, fuck shit, bust off your mustache. Time, go. Well, I'll tell you what's going on. Your lonely mom slowly slobs on my loaded john while I hold a thong. She has to do a good job and blow me long as a result of payment for the day that I came in and mowed a lawn. Hey, yo, call me whack, that's like the pot calling the kettle black. You should rap with Everlast and jump on a heavy metal track. So settle back before I make your mental snap and get furious towards Curious George and the man in the yellow hat. Yeah, well, we're wrecking your whole staff. We're better and you're last. Yo, what the fuck is this? You hit too much method than some crack and turn into Jeffrey the giraffe? And you get no points for bringing your toy board. Why was this your choice for? Go back to the toy store, boy George. Hey, yo. You weak spitter, did you forget to eat dinner? His shirt has a fist. Well, Reed Richard's sweet sister loves when Parabli's fist her. And this MC's lisp hurts. Either his tongue is numb, or he can't pronounce his word from sipping Zizzurb mixed with dick sperm. Damn, that was dope, and I'ma kill you humans. You got a shirt of Silver Surfer. When we walked in, y'all were silver spooning. <laughs> Time! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, after careful consideration in three strong rounds, the judges have come up with a decision. Jump off card, please. Thank you. All right. And the winner is Matt Ilse and Barrow. Thank you, Dap it up, gentlemen. Now we are going to break. Jump off dot TV. This yeah. is Reed Rich and KP for the After the Battle program. Yep. Just battle uh, of uh, uh, Matt Ilse. Let's start it out. I feel we just battled Matt Ilse and Parables. I feel. Actually, I feel like we sort of dropped the ball a little bit. I think we were hanging with them, spitting. Like, I think a few of our punchlines were tougher than anything they got, but they like connected several jabs, like a few, you know, yeah. use the boxing metaphor. But, and also now that I've worked out in my head that uh, they have to lose once and we have to beat everybody else, uh, a little disappointed, but I think we can still overcome and destroy. Yeah, it was a good, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they're definitely the only goal. competition like, I'm giving any props got, to the entire day, you know all saying? day. They got down on that one, you know what I'm saying? I can say that like with confidence, because if if I'm gonna lose, I'd rather lose to, you know what I'm saying, people that really do Or the rather thing. lose with dignity. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, that was a good that was a good battle. You know. So but I don't know. I'm but ready I'm ready to continue this battle. Estimation. Cause I've es I underestimated them hard, even though I seen them kill it's like different because I ain't never battled them before. So like it's one thing to see it, but when you actually do it, it's like a whole different feel that you get for it. So, you know what I'm saying? Much props, you know? They did the damn thing. You know? We're ready for the next battle. I feel like like MC battling in general sort of like lost its way since like, you know, when I first started doing it, you know, when I was much younger, you know, 10, 15 years ago. But um, that was the most fun I've had in a hot minute. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't give a fuck, so, yeah, that shit was fun. I don't know who we're battling next, but I don't know. Uh, we got the, we got we'll the sucker see. list and. Yeah, we'll see. Yo, Parable, Mad Ills, we just got them battling KP and Reed Richards. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? The last team of the first round. First half. Yeah, first yeah, first, first five half, weeks, first round. Five weeks have gone by, and we're still here in the same in building. In the same clothes. Wearing the same clothes, wow. I don't know. 
But um, basically, like, we needed to get this through this whole first round with wins. We got all murders, well, one, one of them yeah. except for one. You know what I'm saying? And that was just a regular win. But you know what I'm saying? We're creating a, a cushion for ourselves, even though we're... We're like four points ahead. We still need to keep coming on the second round yeah. and start taking down those wins. Um, against KP and Reed Richards, um, their team is just real unique, um, and we're glad that we can still have gone against them and and just still hold it down regardless. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And and kind of close it off as we've mentioned before, trying to close it off off the first three rounds so that we're not going into extra rounds and you know getting yeah. more fatigue and just claiming that murder so yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna really continue that we're we're on the defense now but we still got that offense mentality you know what I'm saying? Yeah. offense i said office offensive mentality where we're still trying to smash it and just keep it yeah. moving Quarters. Quarters. oh wait can i just say the uh, silver spoon in line was that third round yeah that just was the last nail one. in the coffin like he had he had a um he had a silver surfer shirt on you know what i'm saying and it popped out of nowhere. It wasn't like I thought about that. I, I knew that like he was ending early, you know what I'm saying? And if I could get that very last one, it might be the nail in the coffin. And, and fortunately for us, it was. it was. So I'm glad that they really felt that line. You know yep. what I'm saying? And I don't know. Fucking my brain is in a million different directions right now for me to tell you quotables. Yeah, yeah. After I watch a... the video, you can re-interview me, <laughs> us. And we'll tell you the quotables. <laughs> All right, we got to go against Nestle and Jaron Benton next. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Second round, so we have to start first. Right. You know what I mean? Which can work to our disadvantage if we give them the last word. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the case that we did go first, we'll get the last word. But you know what I'm saying? Nestle and Jaron Benton are the focus right now yeah. for us. Even though they haven't won anything no, I think up to won, this point. They've won like one or two, whatever their track record is. We still right. aren't like, we're still taking yeah. every team just as serious. You know what I'm saying? Because they've... They've been hitting with lines here and there, you know what I'm saying? So we, they can come at us like that. Yeah. All it takes, all it takes is for us to fall off yeah, one time, and, all it takes and then it was like a really, really ill line. Like even when we battled the source in Immaculate last year, uh, when Immaculate had that Eddie G, that that whole joint right there, that was like the killer line. And if and if one of these guys manages to par up a, a like a killer line like that, that could smash you no matter yeah, what. Yeah. So. Let's hope that's not the case. Let's hope maybe we're doing something to intimidate them and, and we're just keeping our skills up on point and keep it moving, keep it moving, y'all. Definitely. Peace. Peace.